What's going on you gamers? Today we're jumping into a bit more Wo Long and I'm going to show you the fastest way you can grab those cups of cordiality and level up your followers very fast in order to get some of the best gear in the game. Also we're going to grab an abundance of tier 7 leather to help us upgrade our gear fast. Now the fastest way to get hold of these cups of cordiality is going to be and level up your followers ridiculously fast is by completing quite a lot of the main storyline and making your way to part 5. After I'd completed Warflame's Blaze Fiercely, the main mission, then a subquest unlocked which is going to be the one we need and that's going to be the uninhibited heart. In this mission you're always going to be able to get hold of a cup of cordiality very quickly in around about 40 seconds, complete the mission and then jump straight back in. Now it sounds easy but I've put a full guide together just so that everyone knows the exact way to do it and if you need a cup of cordiality a little bit early on, if you're a bit closer to the start I'll put a link up later on showing you how you can get one at chapter 2. But the main thing to remember once you spawn in, these can actually spawn at three locations because the NPC randomly generates. So the first one is going to be straight here, follow the exact way I've gone. And the first location that the NPC can spawn will be just up here. If he does then the Cup of Cordiality will be exactly here. Jump back where you were, hand it in and that will be the quest completed. If it hasn't spawned there then you're going to make your way round. Keep going in the exact way I'm showing you here. just up this little pile of rubble and the second place it can spawn will be just here. Then you're going to want to make your way all the way down the end of the corridor and the location of the NPC will be just down here. So I could hand it in there and that would complete the quest. But I'm going to show you exactly where the third one can spawn just to make things a bit easier. So the third one can spawn just here and then you're going to make your way around this corridor in here and this will be where you hand your quest in this time. Now I'm going to bop back and just hand this quest in, show you exactly what you get for your rewards. For some reason sometimes this completes very quickly, other times he talks for a little bit so it does take a little bit longer. But you get some really nice rewards, so as you see here you've got Oil of Awakening, mainly the tier 7 level is amazing getting free of those and then you can just go straight back to the same battlefield and start again. This time, just so you completely understand what was going on, I'm going to show you all three of the runs so that you understand exactly what you're going to be doing. So for the first one, if the NPC has spawned here, like I said, Cup of Cordality will be right next to him, you're just going to hand it in. Or if you're like me and you don't know that when you're getting tapped you can't actually make jumps in this game, you're probably going to stand around jumping like a crazy person. But eventually you're going to make it up and you can hand it in, complete the quest and start again. Exactly the same run at the start, make your way through, drop down, Jump up on the left because you're always going to want to make sure that the NPC hasn't spawned in that first location. If he hasn't then you're going to move all the way around and check for the second spot. So this time it spawned there so I know the NPC is going to be all the way down the end and I'm going to complete the quest. You can do this over and over, get yourself, an, get yourself an abundance of XP for your followers, get the best gear very very easy, as well as a lot of tier 7 leather in order to upgrade your loot. Thirdly, if it wasn't at the first spot, and then you make your way all the way around again, and if it's not the second spot, so now we know it's going to be at the third location, just here, 
make your way around and hand it in here. Probably be a little bit complicated at first, but after a little while you'll get the knack of this and you'll be doing these runs in probably about 40 seconds or so. From here, just upgrade whoever you want, go to your flag, use your cup of cordiality, level up your recruits, and then they're going to reward you with their gear. So go down to your delivery and you'll be able to grab up some of the best stuff in the game, and like I said, have a lot of lever in order to upgrade that tier 7. Right, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. I've put a link up a little bit before this just in case you need an earlier spot, but this one's well worth knowing as it's one of the best places to farm in the game. But as always, Full Things Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.